All right, hey gang. Uh, as promised, here is uh, my unboxing of my used Oneida bow. And it is, try and get some good coverage here. It's a Black Eagle, Oneida Black Eagle. I'm gonna get some better lighting here in just a second. But uh, I've got 10 arrows here the fella sent me 12 others of these uh, Easton XX75. Uh, they're aluminum arrows. Uh, I've got to put new tips on them. No big deal. I've got plenty of those. But on to the big guy here. It's really hard to find these like this because it's got um, the manual here. It's got two strings, which I'll need to I'll replace one, and I'll go over that when I'm doing my uh, inspection. And then the modules. These actually are coming with this bow right here. And this really cool uh, hard case right here. So, on to the bow. <clears throat> i grab some good sunlight and set it up right here where we can see it. So, um, it's been sitting in his closet for a while. So, uh, right when I got it, I wanted to go shoot it. But, can't do that. Got to make sure that... Uh, it's got some good integrity to it, which just visually, it's I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, try and look at the string. Let's see if I can get this. The string is wearing. So before I shoot it, I got to put one of those strings right here. Uh, it already has a knock, but uh, the string's going. So I'll have to put another one on there. That's okay. It's got a nice little. Uh, little arrow rest right here. I'll be changing that out for a whisker biscuit. And then I might keep these sights, I might not. They're kind of cool. I've never hadn't seen one of these um, in a while. It's pretty light. I'll get a weight for you uh, as far as the poundage of the bow goes. And then uh, it still comes with this guy right here. And as you can see uh, let me find a better thing right here. Um, it's 44 and a half inches. Uh, it's a medium, so the draw length is up to 30 or 31, I believe, which is great for me because I have a 30 inch draw length. And it's a 60 to 80. Perfect because I was wanting to get the most. I'll probably start it at 65 and work my way up. I'm trying to focus here. Bear with me a little bit. Um, but we're looking at the cams here. Again, this is the bottom one. Right here. So it's not too bad. Let me get some more sunlight here. Right there. You adjust the poundage right there. I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, first I'll uh, measure the, the till. I'll tiller the bow like they call it which will be taking the distance that's the top one that's the bottom we'll measure the distance between here and here make sure it's the same from there to there but first we're going to replace the string so I'm gonna get on that and we'll be back okay gang so I was able to bow press this got my new string here ready to go up oh, right yeah right there put together my quick uh, sight right here forgive me for my mess here we're moving around a whole bunch of stuff but anyway this lets me check these these hinges right here they appear to be all right as I was pulling this back it's got a longer draw so with those modules I'll, I'll change out the um, the module I need so that I can uh, so I can be able to pull it back something more comfortable so there we go bow pressed and uh, let the shooting begin shortly all right gang so for a little comparison the one on the right is the Tomcat the one in the middle is the Black Eagle and the one on the end is the uh, the bear compound bow so the one on the left 
is 31 inches cam to cam. The middle one, the Black Eagle, is 44 and a half inches. Tomcat is, I think, almost 50 inches. So, we're going to get to shooting. Alright, guys. Here we are back here. We've got the Black Eagle semi tuned up. Uh, while I replaced the string, I put just kind of a little go by peep sight and uh, some string silencers. Uh, I'm keeping the uh, original rest just for now. And, uh, and this side, this is an interesting side, I kind of like it. It's got five pins on it. So uh, here we go, first shots out of the Oneida Black Eagle. Here we go. We're shooting these Camo Easton XX75s with uh, four inch veins. Make sure I'm all tight down here. Again, this is uh, pulling back a little too far, so I'm gonna replace the module. Looks like it's a good chance. Here we go, first shots. A lot quieter than the Arrow Force. Oh, that Arrow Force was a little erratic. Man, here we go, seven yards or so. Like, practically, let me rotate this around so I can see. But we are almost splitting arrows. This thing is just dead on accurate. Everybody just raves about this bow, so let me reset the camera. We'll do it again. Okay, so I step back five yards, and uh, we're going to see, I believe it's about 17 or 18 yards from one side of my fence to the other. So let's see how accurate we can get. Put the sun in my face. Where I put it is where I put it. This thing's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go take a look here. Oh, left behind the arrow. We'll have some more fun. But gosh, just like the <laughs> man. Oh man, look at that. Just splitting arrows. 18 yards just splitting arrows. I imagine 30 and 40 yards you'll still get, but consistency, consistency, consistency. So when you uh, take down your game, you know you got some good, solid shots to bring them down. So uh, let me reset the camera, do it again. that arrow just going right down. Maybe I can get a view of that uh, from behind me. Straight down. Straight down. Beautiful. <clears throat> Second one I hesitated, which is the one up to the left. Uh, so which is why I didn't go straight on. So let me uh, get some better uh, some different angles See what we see Okay, so I got a Good view of that We're at a whole 18 yards and try and see if you can see that arrow is going right toward it What if that went through?
Well, I was trying to do that all for camera's sake. So maybe you were able to see the aero flight. But you can see right now those two, they went through that bag. And so once I get it, I'll be able to see myself. Uh, we can shoot a couple more times and uh, go from there. Eh, not bad. Uh, again, I was trying to get for aero flight. Uh, we're gonna try a different camera angle here. I go for accuracy on this one. Let's see what happens. up turn that around and let's go take a look see say hello Annabelle she's scared of the camera go back to your go back to your frisbee <laughs> huh where'd it go I think it was right below it Let's try and fish it out, shall we? Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> yeah, it was right there. Okay, guys, well, that was the uh, Oneida Black Eagle with uh, my uh, XX75 Camel Hunter. Beautiful, beautiful bow. Some more tweaks and things coming, but right out of the box after inspection. Oh, this is a lovely bow. Lovely bow. Gosh, I want them out on the wall. It's art. All right, guys, well, thanks a lot for watching, and keep shooting. Okay, so I step back up, uh, step back, sorry. All right, so I reset the camera, shoot some more arrows, huh? Let's sling some more arrows down there. Oh, he's broken. <laughs>